So again, it's like, I've been at home. I've been doing some stuff, some studio stuff. I've been playing, sitting down and doing some live streams. So standing up for several hours, it's like, okay, remember how to do this? <laughs> it's like, come on, muscles, let's go. <laughs> now, speaking of that, what do you do now during these crazy times or in general? I mean, this is hard physically to, to do a three-hour live set, like physically, emotionally, mentally. How do you keep yourself in tip-top shape? Well, you know, I should have been playing more at home, standing up. I should have been doing that because I realized, oh, man, I was really sore afterward. <laughs> so I'll probably be doing a little more of that just to keep that muscle set going. But um, I do, we walk. Uh, we try to walk every day, my husband and I. And there's just a nice little couple of routes that, you know, you turn this way and you see some different things. And, and uh, yeah, we try to do that every day if we can. If it's raining, yeah, put a little raincoat on and go. And uh, I, I do little calisthenics around the house too. I'll do some push-ups. I also have a, kind of a unique, uh, from being you know, a touring musician and working in hotels and stuff for many years, uh, I learned how to work out with, with like a towel or a t-shirt and how to do isometrics you know, with a towel. And uh, I so I still, I still do some of that. I've got some rubber bands and yeah, just, you know, nothing really formal, but just, you know, uh, and jumping up and down, uh, what do they call them? Just, um, the isometric jumps. Biometric. Ply yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the explosive jumping. I yeah. try to do that to keep my bones in shape. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's a lot that people can do. You don't have to go to a gym. There's a lot that we can do even with milk jugs to stay in shape. So. Yes. 